One is a USB stick, this one is 64 gig, which is more than enough. Secondly, visit Rufus.ie. Rufus is a utility that allows you to create bootable USB flash drives. Scroll down to the latest version, towards the bottom of the page and download the EXE file. Lastly, visit linuxmint.com to download the latest version of the Linux Mint ISO file. On the downloads page, the version we are looking at during the recording of this video is the Cinnamon Edition. This isn't as straightforward as some other distros. You have to find one of the download mirrors best suited to your location. I am using one of the UK-based mirrors as shown. This will take a little while as the file is around 3 GB in size. Once downloaded, we can now fire up Rufus to then begin the install of Linux Mint on your USB flash drive. The settings for this are fairly straightforward. Click on Select to locate the downloaded Mint ISO file. The most important aspect to this is the partition creation, so that you can have a USB stick that retains your files. I have created a 32 gig partition, but you can create your own size. All of the other settings remain the same, so then all that is left is to click on Start. There will be several warnings about all the current data will be wiped and the USB stick will be formatted. Once this reaches 100%, you can then remove the stick and place into whatever laptop you have. Ensure the BIOS is configured to boot from a USB, then you will be presented with a screen like this, which is very standard to Linux users. I can use the CLI as normal. To prove that we have persistence on this USB stick, I am going to create a folder on the desktop in my name and then reload the laptop, booting the device from the USB stick again. As you can see, after the device has reloaded, the folder remains on the top left of the screen, proving that our USB is now fully persistent. Thanks for watching another useful video from the G-Man channel today. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and we will see you again soon.